Choosing a new MMORPG to play on your iOS or Android devices can be challenging, so to save you the hassle of searching for the latest releases, we've compiled a list of the top 10 new MMORPGs that have come out recently. Now, we know you all have different preferences when it comes to MMOs, but don't worry, this list covers a range of themes, from sci-fi adventures to classic fantasy setting. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now is probably a good time for you to do so, as it would definitely help our channel a lot in reaching 50k subscribers. So without further ado, let's jump right in! Starting off with number 10, we have Order Daybreak. Order Daybreak is an MMO set in a post-apocalyptic world infused with sci-fi and anime elements. Players become Aegis warriors and navigate a dynamic isometric perspective to engage in strategic combat and form alliances with diverse allies to combat spreading corruption. There are four gender-locked classes to choose from, Swift Blade, Slayer, Gunslinger, and Seer. It also features cross-server play, where players can forge and break alliances globally, creating a constantly evolving narrative as they strive to shape the future of a world on the brink of collapse. By the way, some of you are probably wondering how I record gameplay videos. Now, you may be thinking I use my phone's built-in screen recorder to record, but nope. Not at all. I use Mirror 2 and record my gameplay on my PC. It saves me time when transferring data and also saves phone storage. Mirror 2 is a screen mirror app you can use to mirror and control your phone on your PC. And you can also use it to live stream mobile games instead of a capture card. And it's so easy to use. I mean, you literally just have to download the app on both your computer and phone. Link in the description, by the way. And make sure both devices are connected to the same Wi Fi network. Then, if you're using an iPhone, you just have to go to your control panel and tap on Mirror 2. For Android phones, you just have to download the Mirror 2 app on Google Play Store. Once you open the app, you should be able to see your PC's name. Tap on it, connect, and you're good to go. And then you'll be able to do stuff from there, like controlling your phone screen or control your phone on a PC if you want to play your mobile game on a bigger screen. With Mirror 2, you can easily cast your phone screen with audio from your phone to your PC, Mac, or TV. And it's free to use. Now if that sounds good to you, go ahead and try Mirror 2 now. Link in the description. Moving on to number 9, we have Forgotten Throne. Forgotten Throne is an MMORPG where players rise from obscurity to reclaim a powerful throne. You choose from 5 distinct classes, each with unique combat styles, and customize your champion with a variety of skills and gear. You will lead your party in intense strategic battles, leveraging skills combinations for victory. You get 5 gender locked classes to choose from. You have Warlord, Mage, Priest, Berserker, and Prophet. In the game, you will explore an open world filled with secrets, daring encounters, and rich narrative. You can also summon powerful SSR Guardian monsters to aid you in combat. With diverse skills and strategic depth, Forgotten Throne offers an immersive journey to carve your name into the history. Next up at number 8, we have Dark Surge. Dark Surge is a mobile MMORPG set in a dark, desolated continent ravaged by a withering tide. As a chosen one of the gods, players engage in accelerating combat and immersive exploration, competing in trials to stand shoulder to shoulder with deities. The game features endless trials with random debuffs and customizable equipment with random attributes. Players must gather supplies, refine strategies, and outlast opponents in an ever shrinking battlefield to earn rewards and upgrade their abilities. Coming in at number 7, we have Ancient Seal the Exorcist. Ancient Seal the Exorcist is an MMORPG set in a mythical world shaped by the elemental forces of life and death and light and darkness. In this ancient era of chaos, players are drawn into an epic battle between good and evil ignited by the original fire. Though I don't think there's something different in this game from those Wuja MMORPGs that you can already find on Placer though. It's got better graphics but doesn't seem to have much to offer. But if you're into MMORPGs and are looking for one, this might be a good try. Moving on to number 6, we have Nexus Nebula Echoes. Nexus Nebula Echoes is a futuristic mobile game where players choose from 7 classes, Vanader, Nebula, Hacker, Shadow, Boxerena, Samurai, and Diva, and then navigate a metropolis caught between AI consciousness awakening and human essence. As the protagonist, players explore the balance of intelligence and humanity, making choices that shape the future of both. The game features exploration of Cyberpunk City, where players can also form strategic cyber partnerships to tackle bosses and enjoy social activities. 
Next up at number 5, we have 12 Sky M. 12 Sky M is a game set in a classic vibrant oriental world, where players join one of the three wearing clans in a battle for dominance, featuring martial arts, exotic weapons, and customizable armor. The game challenges players to unleash their inner warrior through a robust battle system. This game looks quite outdated, but some people might prefer it that way. But the problem is, there aren't much people to play with within the game, which is gonna be a problem when it comes to raids and party gameplays. Coming in at number 4, we have Silk Road Origin Mobile. Silk Road Origin Mobile is a masterfully recreated MMORPG that brings the legendary Silk Road journey to mobile devices. Players can relive nostalgic trading adventures, engaging in intense job battles between thieves and hunters. The game currently features 5 main classes, one hand sword, blade, spear, glaive, and bow, each with unique strategies and challenges. Players can participate in various game modes and classic activities, and enjoy a rich character system. Them. Silk Road Mobile also has two regions that features different cultures, Asian and European, but currently the only open region is the Asian one. The game boasts perfect 3D plus graphics, providing a realistic and vibrant experience and allows players to explore detailed landmarks from ancient China to Europe. At number 3, we have Arch Age War. Arch Age War is an expansive MMORPG based on the original Arch Age universe, offering a seamless open world created with Unreal Engine 4. Players engage in an epic war that unites five different races across four distinct powers. Similar to other Korean MMOs like Lineage Mobile, the game features over 100 classes and legendary heroes, providing a diverse combat experience with various skill combinations. The game also offers AAA graphics and is available for both PC and mobile. Although we we find the game's combat clunky and the autoplay is quite overwhelming, it might actually be a good try for people who are into Korean MMOs. Down to number 2, we have Dragon Saga. Dragon Saga is a fantasy MMORPG set in the medieval world Acadia, where dragons and other races harmoniously coexist. Players assume the role of a dragon warrior heir, undertaking a journey to become a legendary warrior, battle a formidable Nidhogg, and safeguard Arcadia. Your journey involves training with unique creatures, choosing between four job classes for your character, tackling various dungeons, and employing a dragon quartz system to boost your combat power. Finally, at number 1, we have Terrace Land. Terrace Land is a cross-platform MMORPG that combines classic fantasy elements with modern gameplay. Players can choose from 9 unique classes and 18 specializations, utilizing an extensive talent tree system to create custom builds. The game features challenging dungeons and raids where teams can take down epic bosses. It also offers a vast open world to explore filled with mysteries and adventures. At first glance, Terrace Land seemed like an exciting venture into the fantasy MMORPG sub genre, offering vibrant regions, intricate content, and memorable characters with colorful graphics tailored for both PC and mobile platforms. But it's been receiving lots of negative reviews, so it may not appeal to everyone. However, if you look at it from a mobile gamer's perspective, it's actually better than most MMOs you can find on Play Store right now. Alright gamers, that'll be all for this video. If you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to Gaming at Max with the bell notifications turned on. You may not know, but that really helps our channel and keeps us motivated. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!